In today's numeracy activities, we're going to be practicing position. We're going to start with our compass directions. We've learned about our directions before. We've got our north, east, south, and west. In between north and east, we have northeast. In between south and east, we have southeast. In between south and west, we have southwest. In between north and west, we have northwest. Okay? So on each compass, there are some directions that are missing. Fill in the missing ones. Remember to look at north. Find north, and then what would this be? What would this be? What would this be? Okay? There's north. What comes next? Okay, here's north. What comes next? All right, in number two, you have to follow the directions. So here are four clowns that must find their way to class at circus school. Write the direction that each clown needs to go to to get to their class in the spaces below. So take note of where north is. North is facing this direction, okay? So Pogo, in A, Pogo is going to acrobatics class. He's going this way. So which direction is he going? If this is north and this is south, this is east and this is west. Okay, and you're going to use that information for the rest of these questions. On the next page, you're going to be describing your position. So, when we use terms such as left and right, where we are in relation to the object changes. So it kind of means our left and right is different than someone else's left and right depending on where they're standing or where they're sitting. Okay, so let's look carefully at each person's position. We've got Lily here, Joe here, Rachel here, and Roger here. Okay, so in A, the grapes are on the left or right side of Roger. So we look at Roger, okay, and here are the grapes. So think about being in Roger's position. Are the grapes on Roger's left or are the grapes on Roger's right? Okay, number two you're going to solve a riddle. And how are you gonna solve the riddle? Well, the clues are here. So you have to follow all of these directions to find the clue. So bottom row, so this is, remember these are rows and these are columns, okay? So the bottom row, so it's this row here, okay? Third column from the left. That means we have to start on the left side. So this is the left side third column from the left, so we count one, two, three, okay? Bottom row, third column from the left. So our first letter for A is S, okay? So find out the rest of the clues and you can solve the riddle. On the last page for today, you're going to practice following the directions up, down, left, and right. So, these kids are playing a computer game where they have to move through as many stars as possible to get the most points. So remember, you're trying to pass through the stars, okay? Color each player's path according to the directions below. So you've got to follow their directions and color in their paths, okay? So for example, let's start with A. Gemma's path is start on the bottom row. So the bottom row Remember, these are rows, and when you go down, these are columns, right? So bottom row, sixth square from the left. Okay, so again, left, right. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six. Sixth square from the left. So we're gonna color that, okay? And then the next instruction is to go one up. So I'm gonna go one up. And then it says three squares left. So I'm gonna go three squares left. One, two, three. Okay. And then you're gonna follow the rest of the directions. Six squares up and then two squares left. And then how many stars did Gemma's path pass through? I'm gonna write that in this box down here. Okay, if you have any questions, you can ask me on Seesaw.